Hey guys, it's Tech Tutorial Guy back at you with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download Dolphin Emulator. Dolphin Emulator allows you to play GameCube games, Wii games on your PC using emulation. So let's get into it. I'll put this link inside the description for you guys, so don't worry. I, I don't like the people that make tutorial videos, but let me put the link inside the description by me. I'll put the link inside the description for you guys. So it's going to bring you to this page when you click on the link inside the description click on download dolphin you can download it from windows mac os x i used to do mac os x videos on my other channel but my other channel got uh something happened and then it was doing pretty well that channel but yeah and um you can also download it for linux so you click here for mac os x for Linux, I think it's down here. It's like a source code. We don't. Uh, 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 I'm not gonna be doing a tutorial on how to install it on Linux. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial how to install it on Windows uh, operating system. People that are running it on, uh, you know, on a um, on a on a 64-bit operating system. So let's get it. So make sure to download the beta version because the development development version uh has is probably not gonna be stable enough. I'd recommend to no 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 the beta version is not gonna be stable enough. I mean sorry sorry guys, the beta version is not gonna be stable enough, but the but the developer version is going to be stabled so stable okay so click on this one 64 bit you should start downloading it depends on your wi-fi speeds your internet speeds you know so i know it's taking this long to download something that's only 15.9 megabits that's tragic yeah my upload is very bad but yeah Hope you guys are having a great day, and you know when life's when life when life throws you under a bus, don't let that shit, don't let that shit, you know, don't let that shit get to you. There's always, there's always a brighter, there's always a brighter side to every sort of thing, but sometimes there's not. Why am I getting so sentimental? Let's just go back to this tutorial. Okay, so we finished that. Make sure you get Winra. 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 Right here. I'll also put that inside the description. This is a very free tool you can use to um, unextract the best files. So, yeah, it's, it's for free. You can buy if you want, you can support them because because it's really good if i was you know had money i would i would want i would you know donate money but <laughs> but no i can't so download winra just scroll down go to download winra it's for free you don't have to pay it's a good thing about winra you don't have to pay and it should start downloading yeah for example for five seconds and then it'll show up here if it doesn't show up after five seconds click on here and it should just you know when you need to save it when you want to save i'm gonna save my inside the download file so i click save after i do that it should show up on my downloads up here i just double click on this file icon because i use it opera gx i wish opera gx could have sponsored me because i really appreciate it but my fan following is kind of low right now but when I make it to that sort of, you know, decent fan, you know, following, then I wouldn't mind getting sponsored by Alpha GX. It's, it's, it's really good. So now I just right click, run as administrator on WinRAR, okay? Then we just download it, click yes. And then make sure to also the, uh, the also directory file is your C drive, C program files. Or you can just install it anywhere you want, anywhere that you feel comfortable in this. You can add the shortcut to your desktop. I'm just gonna add this. Make sure to tick all this because make sure to tick ISO because ISO most games that you download off the internet or you download using torrents and stuff like that. 
are going to be in ISO form. And um, I'm just saying this as uh, you know, I'm just saying it. It's not really, I'm not, you know, it's, uh, I can't show you guys how to download these games because copyright issues and shit like that. So, yeah, but make sure to have this ticked on because when you download games and stuff, it's pretty simple. You guys should, you guys should search it up and there should be a bunch of websites there. Just go on Reddit, search up, and then you're you willing to find a forum of people saying, oh, this is the best website. Then, yeah, it's to download games and shit for your GameCube, PlayStation 2 sort of games, ISOs and shit. Yeah, just go and just search up on Google and then put Reddit at the end. It's bound to be someone, someone that, you know, searching up the same thing you want to search up, trust me. After this, I just click OK and everything is done. So I can just click done and I will just open another file, but there's no need for that. It will just show up on your desktop because we clicked on short, create a shortcut to your desktop. So this is the shortcut. But you don't even have to do that. You just can right click on a, a compress file and click extract file. This is the most simple shit. That's what I do. It makes it much more easier for me. So I click on desktop because I want it to show on the desktop. I click new file and the thing will automatically create a file with the same name. The compress file. I click OK and it'll start extracting the file. And this depends on your CPU. But it's done. Now it's done. Now I can just double click on that. Double click on this. Run dolphin.exe. Right click. Run as an administrator. Click yes. And that's basically it. It's quite simple. It's not that hard. And you can change your graphics settings if you guys want to. I go on here, change the also the native resolution to 1080 to 1440 to 4K, 5K, 6K, that's all for high-end PC. If you go up past 44P, that's high-end high -end PCs and shit. So, yeah, just stick to, I think, 1080 or 720P should be good enough because this is a GameCube game. Don't expect it to be running at, you know, crazy quality or crazy ASCO resolution. So you'll probably get it to run at 4K probably, and but you have to tweak some settings, bump some setting ups, add some anti-aliasing stuff like that to boost it. But yeah, this this emulation has been around since since 2014. I've been using it on my MacBook. I had a MacBook Air, the I was at the 2014 edition. This is back in high school. I think I was in year eight or year nine. I used to. Uh, um, I used to be really big on Oscar emulation and people didn't really know about Oscar emulation back then or just getting started, you know, and I was I was really into that and stuff like that. So if you want to download the game, just go on Google, search up ISO and that because because I can't show you guys, I, just, I legit can't show you guys because, because I might get a, a copyright strike on my YouTube channel. And then there's a chance that they might remove my whole YouTube channel. That has happened in the past because I didn't know. But now I know my boundaries and I'm not gonna step past my boundaries. You guys understand? So it's pretty simple. I can't show you guys really how to download that because it's illegal, you know? I can show you guys how to download the emulator and stuff. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, uh, this is how you install the emulator. Pretty simple, and you can connect your controller, any sort of controller, you can connect it to it. Xbox controller, yes, you can connect it, it's quite easy to connect it. A PS4 controller, you can basically connect any sort of controller. I can also show, show you guys how to connect a generic controller to output as an Xbox 360 controller. I can make a video for that, but uh, you guys can comment inside this video if you guys want me to make a video on that, because I can make a video on that for you guys. But that's basically it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. It wasn't really quick because I was just yapping. But stay safe and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial video. Peace.